Hello everyone. My name is Suyash and I'm from CUCM TAC team. I've been working with Cisco from last four years. I welcome you in this video series for IP phone hardware troubleshooting. I hope this will help you. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can perform a factory reset on 8861 series phone using the phone keypad. When you perform a factory reset on a phone, the configuration would be erased are your network configuration, security configuration, phone locale, call histories, etc. Before you perform the factory reset, ensure that uh, some configuration or some condition uh, are met. First of all, your phone should be connected to a DCP enabled network and the TFTP server IP address should be configured as option 150 or option 66 on the SCP. So first of all, let me tell you the procedure uh, to perform the factory reset and then we will do it on a phone. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to unplug the phone. Uh, if, if using PoE, unplug the LAN cable or if you're using the power cube, unplug the power cube. Wait for at least five seconds. Press and hold pound sign and plug the phone back in. When the light on the mute button turns off, press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, star 0 pound in sequence. After you press these buttons, the phone goes through the factory reset process. Do not power down the phone until it completes the factory reset process and the main screen appears. Now, let's do it on a phone. Okay. Let me unplug the cable. We will wait for 5 seconds or maybe 10 seconds. Yeah. Press and hold the pound sign and plug the cable back. Now the light of mute button is turned off. So press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, star 0 pound. Now the phone is going through the factory reset process. It would load its image. It will do the uh, phone registration process from the beginning. It will get the power. Uh, it will get the uh, VLAN information from switch. Then uh, IP address from DSCP server along with the TFTP server information. And then it would uh, reach out to TFTP server to get the configuration file. And then uh, we'll get registered to the primary CUCM server. Okay, now the phone has come up. Thanks for watching.